What's your body count? Oh, honey. Remember, you swore on the Holy Bible. Not. Would you choose to have been born straight or would you stay gay? <sighs> if I were straight, have you f***ed any actors or idols? And if so, who? I actually did like Mina from the beginning, but now that she's in her adult hoe face, my God. I've seen those fucking twerking TikToks. <laughs> Here we go. We're in. I love your voice, by the way. It's yeah. Fucking deep as shit. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Happy Hour. I have downloaded the Holy Bible app on my iPad. <laughs> you are going to put your hand on it. He said we're inviting a gay here, so we need to exactly. pray the gay away. Yes. yes. <laughs> Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth on this episode of honey, Happy Hour? Honey, that's been me the past 12 years. Me? <laughs> Yes. I only tell the truth. Because it's happy hour, we're going to drink, drink. And uh, Eddie is a beer guy. Oh, beer girl. Beer girl. Beer girl. She's so, a beer girl. Got to understand. Gail, I am partial to the Cronenberg 1664 because mm. I'm a little bitch and I love fruity, fruity drinks. Well, you got to have like a nasty beer to be a man. No. Could you? I'm quite manly, right? <laughs> <laughs> talk about that have you had this before it's fucking lovely i always see that but i never i always whenever i go to the pony jump i always tend to gravitate towards the japanese beers yeah because i'm a weeaboo we have one right here you can switch up yeah, yeah, it's it's one one of my isn't this filipino i think I, I believe so yeah so it's like i believe so <laughs> <laughs> sponsored by i fucking wish it was but we're gonna jump right into it no. um actually <laughs> i had the Reddit reactions to start, but I'm like, no, I'm gonna finish it with. By Re- what do you mean by Reddit? So basically, I'll read the Reddit stories and then we'll. React oh, to the, then, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we're not gonna watch the f-ing video. No, so yeah, yeah, the copyright issues and shit. Yeah, I don't want to have to credit nobody. Mm-hmm. I don't credit nobody on TikTok. Just bitch about you. Well, people bitch about it. if you, they only bitch about it once you get famous. Uh, yeah, exactly. yeah. Once you get famous mm-hmm. and they can get some clout out of it, then they start bitching about mm-hmm. it. We're gonna start out with just catching up. We're gonna do it by using a lot of the questions. That I got from Instagram from our fans. Yeah. Laney1 asked. Laney1, I. Laney1, uh. How do you guys know each other? We met. Uh, I remember. Yeah. So you better not be wrong about this. After TV, I met. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all dressed up in fucking weird school uniforms and did some weird stuff. To Apple TV, big stream, it's like Twitch of Korea, you know, exactly. way before Twitch was a thing. Yeah. Even before all the other uh, Western platforms were trying to do live streaming, mm-hmm. Apple TV was like, this is popular in Korea, why don't we do it globally? Mm-hmm. And so they recruited people in Korea, kind of like as foreigners, you yep. know, that did content online about Korea, in Korea, in English. Yeah. And they were like, let's do this stuff. And it was a flop, basically, because yeah. time, it was just was not the right timing. Yeah. The very, very first time we met was for a meeting for that show. Mm-hmm. It was at a chicken shop called like Chimac or something. Yeah. At the time, I remember Mr. Avila here was at 60,000 subscribers. Oh. And now you are at a beautiful 1.5. Oh, 1.6. Damn. <laughs> Next question. Neon Sean. Ask how old are you guys and what have you been up to for the past six years since the picture? Because I posted on my story. How old are you? 92. 88. So. You don't look 88 though. I'm f-ing like 35. it's literally, I could see you being like a year or two younger than me. Like I'm not f-ing lying. I think don't touch me. Okay. But uh, <laughs> my younger brother's 90, so you're mm. you're like a baby to me today. The 2000s babies mm-hmm. can drink now and they're uh, like adults because yeah. mm-hmm. they'd be 23, right? Yep. Fucking crazy. How old's your sister now? Which one? Oh, you have two? I've only seen one on videos. The one that's often Victoria, in my video, right? Victoria, that's my half-sister. She's oh, okay. 2001. She's like, oh, I'm in college, driving a car. I'm like, girl, what the fuck? Are, like, go back to the fucking bed. Like, My oh other sister is only two years younger than me. Why is she never in your video? She, she doesn't, want doesn't really like to, but also she's really awkward. Uh, even more awkward. She doesn't really care to be in my videos, and she's always working. So uh, okay. if she's at her house, then she's I'll be a like, successful bitch. monetize my family. <laughs> you have to. Yeah. You have I feel to. kind of bad, but it's just like, my mom, my mom was like, because she's in Germany right now. Oh, okay. My parents are in, my, my sisters are in Texas and they're going to visit them for mm. Christmas. And my mom was like, are you going to visit us too? And in my head, I'm like, I feel like I'm monetizing my family. <laughs> and I'm like, it's the best way. True. And, you know, my, my subscribers love my content with my family. Mm. So Six years you've been through your, your creator woes and stuff. Mm. And I remember that you did come out with a product line. Mm. What happened to that? Product Is it still line? going on? The first one or the second the one? The very first one where we actually almost worked together. Like, so, I helped you. Give it, a little bit. It became very much one of those things where it's like COVID happened. Oh, and so that really f-ing threw a what's it? What's the phrase? Wrench. Wrench in the yeah in the in the works in the works. And um, luckily, we did met, meet up this meet this person that helped us in the end. So eventually, it took a whole f-ing year 
after people pre-order pre-ordered. That's crazy. Yeah. Go to act like you're the one that had started all this. Yeah, and it wouldn't have taken a year. You were you're pretending like you're gonna help me out that you threw me the dust. Did I? Or did you switch to uh, the MCN who said that they could help you better and faster? Yeah, and they would take less because they would only take like thirty percent or something. I don't know what happened. I didn't. Make, I made no. Sense. I f-ing remember this. I made no sense on that. But uh, oh. eventually, we sent everyone. We did. If we had to, we did refunds, and then we sent everyone that we could. Not only was it delays for production, mm. some obviously some countries because of COVID, we couldn't send to some countries. So we eventually, you know, figured that out. Oh, um, that's why the COVID that bitch was crazy thing. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in general, that CEO was a fucking. Cunt. She's a fucking crazy bitch. Insane. Are you allowed to talk about that? Is yeah, I'm gonna f-ing say it. No, it's not like I didn't say her name. Yeah, yeah. So part of my, you know, the past. I ended up meeting a friend. I think he was like a. He came across my content or whatever. Okay. He said hi to me on Instagram. I said hi, cute. Uh, met up with him, and he ended up introducing me to some other, in uh, company mm. called Olive International, and they make beauty brands for influencers. And their first one was, did you ever did you ever watch Orange Jungle today? No. Not really. Clips or anything. Mm. Uh, if you know Ojang, it, that's a variety show. I'm guessing. Yeah, you know Ojang. Ojang, right? uh, like the yin there, you know, the beauty, beauty people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She was like one of the famous Ojang, and she was like one of the hosts. Mm. That girl, she worked with this company. That was the, for their first brand, and did really well apparently. And usually they work with all the Koreans, but this time, um, uh, my friend introduced me to them. They're like, oh, let's try Hewe. So hell yeah, uh, we had released a few products. Par- at what subscriber count were you at the time? Oh, this is only three years ago, so I'm pretty much at the same. Oh hell yeah! Well, that's right, because you're so big that they'll take the risk, right? Yeah, but yeah, due to many things like <sighs> still, it was still COVID, shipping. We couldn't ship to every country. Did they under like? Were they like understanding of the whole situation, or were they like, "Fuck this guy, it's not working"? Well, eventually, uh, we released a few products, and they were just like. Oh, how come we're not selling that much? And I'm just like, well, I don't know. And also, get my audience is a lot of them. I, most of my comments are always like, either, oh, I don't really wear makeup, I still love your videos, so you're funny, or oh, I'm a broke student, which you know I understand that. But um, many times, the broke students, get yourself. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. Yeah, yeah they're the they're the bad. They, mm-hmm. I will say though, I think it's really funny though when I I met I had a fan meeting a long time ago, mm-hmm. right? And how long ago? Mm, this was. Before COVID, like twenty around the time that we did our collab, the the me, me do your makeup. I went to LA oh, once to have a yeah a fan meeting, and this girl she was such a, she even had like a fan page for me. Oh, yeah, damn. Uh, we ended up all a group of us went to you know get pizza together and we we're eating, and she's like, "How do you like make money?" I'm like, "Oh, you know the ads." She's like, "Yo, that's a ballsy move to ask." Yeah. From someone who's not in the industry asking mm. someone. Is it? That. I think a lot of people would be curious. I think it's like an American thing not to ask people about money, right? Uh, you know I what I mean? So. It's kind of rude, I isn't it? Was, you know? I don't know how the conversation came up, but yeah. I was just like, yeah, it's the, it's the ads that show up before. She's like, I use an ad blocker. I was like, well, I guess you should stop using that. Yeah. <laughs> <this bit. laughs> ah! Do you have any product lines right now that you're you're selling or promoting? That's the last one. and uh, <laughs> the, we, the last time we met was probably a year ago. He was like, you know what? We're gonna hire like a like a global like manager, or some person to help us with marketing overseas. Mm. And uh, for now, we'll we'll take a break. Break's been over a year. I've seen some, a lot of the other brands that they have, and they kind of stopped doing all their brands and just to focus on because honey, honey, there was drama. Oh, there was drama with the original with the first brand that they made. Okay, <laughs> it was so awkward because um, they told me the whole tea, the whole story about what why. They stopped working with that original girl that they started that first brand with. Uh-huh. It happened to be Fashion Week. And I do not do Fashion Week anymore. Mm. Honey, I feel like it's so... To be honest, you can do it. It's, it's fun. It's cute. But I feel like it's cringe for me to go there and be Is it because like, you're too big now? Like, what's going on? Like, no, why? I just I, I don't feel like I'm a fashion person. Uh, I'm more sh- like I'm skincare little, cosmetics. Kind of. Yeah, I'm just I'm like a 175 centimeter fucking little Filipino American boy. Like It's this thing where I know I was joking about monetizing my family or whatever. But yeah. if I have to go to a place just to take a cute picture and like leave, I, and if I'm not even attending a runway, like what's the point in going? For myself, I feel like it's cringe. So it was fashion week. But my mm. friend, knows he knows a lot of people in the industry. He was like, hey, you want to come? I was like, yeah, sure. And I went. And oh, my God. Lo and behold, who was sitting next to me? I I, I, I was like, okay, she, I, she, she looks really pretty in person, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Nightmare. She was like, aren't you Edward Avila? And I was like, yes, I am. <laughs> He's like, yeah, don't you work at Olive International? And she was like, I was like, yeah. And she's like, mm, I know. I've seen your brand before. Yeah. I was like, it was. it I've was. Seen your I had, brand before? It, I had to 
you know, control myself. Wait, um, so she was she was giving like like passive aggressive vibes then? No, she genuinely was just you know inside oh, hand, inside okay, hand, like okay, okay. saying hello. But just, you felt awkward because you know about about the, drama the tea. And stuff. Yeah. So um, you want to talk about the tea or is it is it you can't? Is that the big, that big of a deal? Because they had oh. a falling out, so that's it. That even now they're using twice Jiho as their model now. Oh, and that, so they upgraded that. Mm-hmm. They went and full. they and even before that they were had they had actresses as their uh, models now. So, but she was the first one, right? Yeah, she's that the built face. them. It's her brand. It's, it, she was the oh, face of the brand. So yeah. they're still running with her brand, but now they're hiring out mm, new celebrity faces. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess they fucking armed her out of it. I guess then, so. Probably if they're yeah. like, we're spending all this money, we're gonna be bringing on mm-hmm. people like fuck you. Like, yeah. oh, they probably fucked her in the contract, and she was a young creator, didn't read the contract. I haven't talked about what I've been doing for six yeah. years, but I don't give people don't care about me. So it's you're fine. just like. You're just always there. You like, been, I've been gone for like years. Cause I on stopped. social media. Yeah, on social media. But I've you've been, been in Korea. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been loveless. Clearly. Well, not the six years. My last girlfriend was, she broke up with me Chris uh, the Thursday before the Christmas of 2018. That sucks. Yeah, that's how I remember it because it was so fucking close and to that, Christmas. And those are the most damaging ones. Couldn't she just wait until after Christmas? Like, <laughs> No, I'm glad that she, she did it before Christmas because then I would have kept giving her a gift. And then she breaks up. I mean, that's, that's the bitch that's move. You're yeah, gonna break up true, with somebody true. if you know you're gonna break up with somebody. Do it before a big present day. Amen. Unless they are abusive mm-hmm. and fucking bad to you, then do it after. Amen. Yeah, but if they're abusive, they're probably not going to buy you an expensive or a nice gift anyway. So true. fuck those people. Oh. Yeah. Now, if you know that they're about to give you like a ten thousand dollar gift, mm-hmm. suffer the abuse for a little bit more. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm me, kidding. me. Get the fuck out. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I would stay for it too. Yeah. Anyways, moving mm-hmm. on. Cupid <laughs> Dreams asks, how has Korea changed? From the first few years, y'all started living there to now, to currently. I've said this on my other po- my own podcast, Double D Podcast. Check it out. Yes. Um, it's fucking funny as shit. Before COVID and after COVID like type of thing. Um, I was already starting to feel it, even bubbling up to COVID. But before that, I felt like around the time that we met, there was something about Korea that was just very, like, super chill, giving the vibes of, like, a scenic Japanese, like, uh, kids playing in the fields, just, like, Going with your f- hot summer day, going to Bastion Robbins with your hot, friends. Hot summer. summer. Yes. Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even sing it. it. it re- really? If you if you sing enough, uh-huh. they'll strike it. I recently did a video with an idol group called Super Kind, and uh, I asked them for Kangi. Oh. And uh, one of the members, the, the one of the main main leader, Nga? anyway, he uh, did a guitar cover, and um, they got copyright because I guess that's he's- crazy. I took that part out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Yeah, but uh, yeah, back in the day, it just felt so much more like chill and relaxed and um, that air of like nostalgia, almost like the feeling I got when I was younger in elementary school. You would visit your friend's house in the neighborhood, you know, talk to each other through the window because the windows were just open. Mm. Um, but now everything just seems so like, what's the word? Superficial? Superficial? Is that the word? Or wow. just like, every. I mean, Super fair, yeah, yeah. Well, um, I don't want to say fake. Well, describe it. Describe it. The word that keeps coming to mind is cold. Everyone seems more or less friendly. Just like you I think so. Like everything is just either working or just like out drinking and like instead of I don't know. Well, that's how the Koreans party out drinking. That's though. true, but I don't know. There's just something. It's probably just because I'm older, obviously. But yeah, Korea has changed, mm-hmm. so I have my opinions about that. But. For you personally, do you think Korea has changed or just you have changed because you've been it, here for so long? It the could magic be, of it. Is I think it's a combination of both. Yeah. yeah. What do you? What about you? For me, because I'm a nightlife fuckboy, mm-hmm. right? The nightlife before COVID, after COVID, holy shit, the difference. Because really? I didn't party back then. Oh my god. Now I do, but yeah, I didn't how was it? party for like the first three years. I was still mm-hmm. a good boy because I wasn't mm-hmm. really a creator. I didn't get into like that world, mm-hmm. right? I mean, I was a creator. Like I started YouTube the year, like one year in. Mm-hmm. I was a teacher for a year and then I switched over because Xander like joined my thing mm-hmm. and we fucking popped off in like right away. Yeah. So I took the, all the savings from the first year, went directly into the red and thank fuck we made enough money to start living yeah. um, after the second year. Mm-hmm. So basically there was a club called Arena. Yeah, and it I've was heard of it, like yeah. hot people wonderland, mm-hmm. right? And the reason for that is because the guards are told to not let ugly people and fat people in is and that stuff still like that. a thing? I don't think it's a thing anymore for any th- because nightlife is so struggle fest now uh, because of the covid after yeah. covid. So what happened was before covid, there wasn't a culture mm-hmm. of staying in. Because everybody was depressed and stressed. So they go out and have fun. They get mm-hmm. their attention outside. Mm-hmm. But COVID trained all these hot people to be able to have private parties and shit. All the hot girls would be paid to 
<laughs> okay, I'll talk about this. Would be uh, paid like because I know so many hot girls, right? I would have rich friends or people like clients and stuff who would be like, "We're having like a private hotel party. We're gonna pay these girls." Like, I've heard of this. Depending on how hot they were, mm-hmm. mid tier five hundred bucks mm-hmm. to go to the party. Mm-hmm. Hot a thousand mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to go to these parties. So when the girls are getting paid to go party, mm-hmm. after that shit ends, they're not gonna go party without money. Like mm-hmm. it. Alcohol fucks their beauty up because mm-hmm. it fucks your skin and yep. you, you know all that kind of stuff, right? And they, yeah. and they get really old yeah, really yeah. quickly, right? During yep. COVID, you know how there's a lot of, a lot of places like illegally mm-hmm. stay open yeah, and yeah. stuff, right? And Muin was like right at the tail end of like before that started happening. Mm-hmm. It's like a fucking hottest club. Here's a tip. You know a club, a straight club is hot when all the sujip agashis, bro. Sujip agashis. So all the, the hostesses. Mm-hmm. Right when the karaoke girls, the people that roll mm. up in, in the cars and stuff, or so why does that make it the club hot? Because those are the hottest girls, mm. so they go to decompress from their abuse from drinking with their clients and shit, right? And getting mm. feel like shit, and so they go, they get they get pampered there without having to fucking deal with any of that bullshit, and they go to meet like the, the guys are hotter there, right? Because yeah. usually at at karaoke's or like hostess bars, it's just a bunch of fifty year olds, you know, forty, yep. fifty, sixty year olds yeah. that can't get shit, you know. Because mm-hmm. if you're a hot fifty year old, you're still getting pussy if you're rich, you know, you can afford it, right? <laughs> it is what it is, right? So nightlife is a massive difference. Yeah. There's there's still one place called Music, it's my favorite, and it's just the one, that uh, tier uh, one. Shinza, right? Karo yeah. Yeah, I've been there. They play hip hop, they play our shide music. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. they play all the, the best stuff like already already enjoyed kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, don't, really, don't you get a lot of places like that in Ichiban as well? I don't. I hate Ichiban. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah. yeah. For me, I live in Ichiban, so I, I'm lazy. So, yeah. you know, and I prefer to be, I'm, I'm a fan of it, but I love, I pref- much prefer a straight club. I feel so trashy, but I love Thursday parties. Thursday party is a different animal, though. Because mm-hmm. it's like fucking cheap bottom barrel prices of alcohol. Mm-hmm. Like, and the people there are like super open to talking mm-hmm. and, and meeting people. Yeah, right? yeah. Whereas like, I guess it's got the vibes of we go there to talk to people yeah, and the right, Koreans right. go there to meet foreigners yep. and hang out and talk and there's no walls. Yeah, yeah. I am a Cheongdam boy. I love looking at nines and tens <laughs> even if oh, I can't no, talk yeah, I get to them, that. right? So even if you can't talk to them, that that's the psychology I don't understand. Why would you want to put yourself through that? I don't have that problem because <laughs> and I only go when I have a table because I have some very gracious wealthy friends no. who love hanging out with me so mm-hmm. they're like happy to come out yeah i think tell you, know. you they're gonna be paying for the table like, exactly oh, yeah. I, honey yeah mm. <laughs> but since things have changed so much right amy j asked what is the hardest thing that you've been through or kind of like about living in korea constantly just having to renew that fucking visa for e6s 100 percent. oh yeah because yeah. that's usually the, also that's usually the one that Models will get it, isn't it? Any kind yeah. of singer, model, mm-hmm. mostly yeah. models. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, but other than that, hard part. I don't think I don't. I you just fucking love it here. Is fantasy wonderland? I think you know? not on I think it just oh, God. cruise right for me. I guess. Yeah, for, for me, it's mm-hmm. it's the language barrier still. Really, for love. For love. For love. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. okay. I can make friends. Like, everybody loves it. I can fucking shoot off. You know, it's, yeah. it's a fun time, you know. And my Korean is good enough, at the, you know, like, it's been good enough for a while that I, like, it can immediately. Like, Koreans will immediately think I'm Korean, but, like, a gyopo. Mm. And then I'm, like, I'm not a, I'm a foreigner. And mm-hmm. then they'd be, like, oh, my God. Like, he's even better than what we thought. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I cannot be the most me. In Korean, you know what I mean? The mm-hmm. best version of me in Korean. Oh, so I can't mean. appeal myself, appeal mm-hmm. my, myself okay. to somebody to the point where money is not an issue. Because if a girl falls in love with you, you know, if someone falls in love with you and your personality and everything about you, maybe money is not as important as money if you're not broke, mm-hmm. right? But, may or maybe it's just how the Korean culture is, yeah. whatever, right? Like whenever I go on visa stuff, like I have to pay for everything. You know, I've literally heard girls say, if I have to pay for anything, my pussy dries up. But it could also be just be the girls that I ended up, I ended up going for because they're like the club rats and, and the yeah. girls that are like nines yeah. and tens or like Instagram models and shit. And they're yeah. like, they just have rich guys throwing cash at them. Right, right, right. right? And they're like fucking on their Instagram, so Chanel, LV, yeah. you know, decked out in designer. But I feel like even those girls, if they really truly fall in love with somebody, money's not as big of an issue. Right, right, as long right. as they're not like struggle fest. Yeah. You know? Struggle fest. Yeah. In Korean, I'm not as funny as I am now. I can't mm, talk about it as no, much I get as that. I am now and all that. Because the jokes are different too culturally and stuff like mm, that. That's right? so true. But so, now that you say this, mm. maybe finding a boyfriend is so hard for me. That's the hardest part, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want a relationship? 
that's the thing though because right? i'm like i'm always joking about like oh my god i'm so fucking alone. i want that dick i want that dick but then as soon as there's even a potential person i sell them just like oh, i'm too lazy just tell them yeah, I don't know. because but I don't know. but ha- so having a fuck buddy would be cool then you i'm not even dick, to but... fuck buddies either well then you're fucked yeah yeah what that boggles my mind. I know. Like if you're to be honest, on on for if you like too bothersome, Pichan, on to to have a relationship, then I would think you would at least want all the benefits of a relationship without the commitment. But you don't even yeah, want that's that. True, but I get lazy real quick. Fuck. Dude. So maybe I'm the one. There's something wrong with me. I don't think so. Maybe yeah. There's something wrong with with us. Yeah. You're gonna do a straight. Mental how how do, how how do how do straight people do the fist bump? What do gay people do? Maybe. Is this too straight? We don't we don't do this. Is there no? Gay version of like the ah or dap it up, you know how black people do like ah, you know. Can you can you imagine imagine like can you even catch on? Okay, just do that. Like imagine, oh, we don't do like this shit. But, um, no, that's really funny. But also, you have to, I don't really hang out in the gay. I'm not in the scene, so oh. you know I just hang out my own little. Yeah, that's one thing though. That as foreigner YouTuber introvert, I talked about this on one of my recent get ready with me's. I did the ancestry DNA link here. Yeah, link there. Yeah. Um, you know how they give you beside your family tree. They give you a bunch of random information like, can you handle spicy food? Do you like cilantro? Stuff like that. One of the things is like whether it it shows you whether or not you have a higher chance of being an extrovert. Apparently, that's me. But for me, I'm much more introverted, I think. But, You're uh, very extrovert on camera, though. Like camera, but also like this, with my so. friends. Yeah. They, you know, like with you, I'm not. there's nothing introverted about me. Exactly. Yeah, I think that doesn't help me at all when it comes to meeting new people. And people. Stuff. You have a resting bitch face? or I don't think so. But also... A lot of people just think, you know, I'm in general, Koreans, especially Korean gays, are not open to dating anybody. A lot of them, unless they're like, they have this weird thing for foreigners. A lot of them are not really into dating foreigners. And that's so, the same thing across all, all Koreans. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? So there's like a small group of people that are like foreigner hunters. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> there's not the foreigner hunters. The foreign hunters, man. <laughs> they're like, I just want some foreign dicks. Oh. Know? Yeah. Oh. The, you know, why the right horse, but the opposite. You know? Yeah. If we're talking about gays, the ones that look for foreigners, they want a specific for They want a hot Sean Cody. Chris Evan. Chris. Sean Cody's oh. a porn star. A gay porn site. Sean Cody, <laughs> porn star, hot white boyfriend. I don't know what Sean Cody looks like. It's a. It's just the name of the website. Oh. It's probably, I think it's the name of the, the person that started it. But, but what's what's the body type? Like, pick Chris Evans. Oh, so the big, I mean, bulky, it, macho guy. It doesn't necessarily have to be that level, but just hot. Mumpjangs. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. They don't like the cute white like models that come to work in Korea. They don't like the skinny guy? No, that's the thing. Huh. Co- Korean, mo- I'm not going to say every single one, but a very good chunk. And I've talked about this with many Korean gays. They all agree. They're not really into skinny, feminine in any way. And by feminine, I mean talk about even if you draw in a little bit of your eyebrows. Not into that. A little bit of a tinted lip balm. Nope, none of that. So they're all just... They're into... Trad chads? Yeah, pretty much. Not no, but every- they're feminine because... They're feminine, so they want to trad chat. Outer appearance. They can be like, ah, uh-huh. but as long as their outer appearance is like, I work out. No, no, no. So, so that's what I'm saying. So they're also like that too, which is why they want. Yeah, pretty much. Or they're I mean, like the opposite. Gays, that's like boys want boys, right? Oh. They can be like like this with their friends, but as soon as there's a potential bar- partner, they man up. Yo, yo. Really? Yo, yo, that's crazy. Because I, I thought you would be the up, because like stereotypically in, in like the straight people's mm-hmm. minds, right? There's always a butch and a bitch, mm-hmm. right? But if like, so for us, it's really weird to see. It's actually not weird for to see two feminine, mm-hmm. like two twinks, right? That's the term. What's the other term? Like the two macho. Is there a macho term? We don't. We would, you would say like iltik, like oh. straight acting. Oh, the closet. Right. The look closet looking yeah. one. The pairing of those two like, freaks us out. We're like, what the really? Fuck? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, like, no. we understand being attracted to femininity. Yeah. So like two feminine people, mm-hmm. okay. Butch feminine, okay. Two butch guys, we're like, what? <laughs> we're like really confused. But it, I guess it, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this is a thing about Korean sight in general. It's always the creation of the outer appearance and like the first impression. Even if between their their best girlfriends, they'll be like, what? Yeah. But as soon as there is any kind of potential partner, they have to suddenly act. That's crazy to me. And in, I feel like in the West or in America, they're not so much anal about that. Uh, they can still be, uh, as long as the outer appearance is like more still, you know, they work out, mm. you know, short hair. Mm. Girl, it has to be short. No no dyed hair. No oh, lenses. Yeah. Oh, no, In Korea, you mean? Yeah, in Korea. Oh, okay. Also a little bit in, Amer- in the oh. West. But um, just any sign of any kind of effeminate, like, 
effeminate sort of thing, they're automatically not into it. The funniest thing about that is that, geez, you know, the stereotype of the super woke, right, mm-hmm. is that they're blue hair and stuff. It's like everybody just hates colored hair. Like, <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. It's yeah. like you would expect the LGBT community because that's like very stereotypical people mm-hmm. who are like super woke and super mm-hmm. supportive of that. Also people that don't do uh, social media. Ah, like but me that's also. every. I think that's like a thing you across so? the board. Mm-hmm. It's like if you're a, cons- a little bit conservative, mm-hmm. you know, you don't want your partner. Well, on that's social true. I get media, that. Yeah, yeah. Right? I don't get that shit. I want to be a power couple on social media. Oh yeah. I don't give a fuck if like thousands of guys are DMing her. Like I want a girl that like if I'm with a hot girl, she's gonna have a billion guys in her DMs. You wouldn't be stressed out about having to maintain that. No, public. because the only reason I would date somebody would be she's showing me so much obsession. That I'd feel safe. That you'd feel safe? That I'd feel safe because she's so into me. If you're dating a 10, mm-hmm. you know they have options. You know the 10 can choose any other rich guy. And if mm-hmm. she's choosing you, there has to be a reason. It's not money, you know? What if they start showing signs of like extreme jealousy though? I don't care. I like, like that shit. Really? Like lock me down, baby. Mm-hmm. Control me, baby. Mm-hmm. I am a sub. Really? I'm a switch, uh-huh. but I would rather be a sub. Mm-hmm. But I always have to be dom just because mm-hmm. Korean girls are all sub. Maybe mm-hmm. it's the culture of it. Yeah. yeah. I like dom positions, but I'm a sub guy. Yeah. Emotionally. Probably because I was raised by a single mom. I think most mm-hmm. guys that are raised by single mothers are like that because they have a strong female figure. They're raised, you know. Whereas get that. guys with like healthy family dynamics and men, they're a little bit more like alpha. They take charge and all that kind of stuff. And that is I had to I, learn that. Uh yeah, yeah. And that is why I'm such a problem yeah. guzzling. <laughs> Cum dumpster fucking trash dick fucking chomping. Cum is the best fucking word. <laughs> I want to date me a cum guzzler. Oop. Oh my god. But yeah, that's our little catch up. <laughs> I call this segment shot or talk. It's basically truth or dare. I'm going to ask you some questions. If you don't want to answer them, you have to drink. If you answer them, I have to drink. Okay. And if you think of any you know questions you want to ask me, we can play the same game. Feel free to do so. I have prepared four questions. So if you answer all four, that's half a bottle of soju. And we are going to be drinking Seto today because zero calories. Zero sugar, I mean. Do you like Seto? I fucking love it. What is your favorite soju? Oh, sorry. I'm not a soju person. I'm a beer person. But if I, I guess... Yeah. Whatever is popular at the time. And right G- now, Seto is pretty popular. Jillo was yeah. a thing as well. Jillo is still a thing because Jillo was the first one with the zero sugar. Uh, so exactly. all the bodybuilders and stuff, they drink the Jillo. Okay. All the girl, all hot girls would drink mm-hmm. Jillo because they okay. get fat. Yeah. Very cute. We've got a twice shot glass and an AOA shot glass. Hey! Hey! Which would you oh, rather? Hey. AOA. <laughs> You're hotter. I didn't say oh. that. Oh. Stop. So let me just... I hot, I just concept as well. Twice oh, cuter. Hot. Okay, wait. So you're more of a. I can't say they're hotter. I can say one member is A tier. Sarian. Sarian, yeah. And then there are there are at least very minimum three A tier girls in Twice. So technically speaking, they are hotter. Sui, Dude. for sure. She's the goddess. Mm-hmm. Sana, for sure. Super pretty. I actually did like Mina from the beginning, but now that she's in her adult hoe face, my God. I've seen those fucking twerking TikToks. <laughs> what? At a third concert? Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? Jesus Christ. First question. Oh, and I also have a chaser, just in case. Um, yes, sir. Woo! Oh, oh, this is so cool. I've never what is it? Is it to help easily open it? Yeah, and then you can pop it back. Oh, close. Yeah, yeah. So okay. Yeah. What's your body count? Oh, hi. Remember, you swore on the Holy Bible. T- body you don't have to answer. I can no, I can answer, but I can't even tell you the number because I don't know. I know my exact number. <laughs> it's out of respect. It's not an ego thing. I have never, and now you're not allowed to ask me the question. I <laughs> will never answer. I can answer it. Uh-huh. You would be literally the second person to know it. I've only ever told one person. Again, it's because it's not an ego thing. It's just because I want to remember everybody I've, I've slept mm-hmm. with. I already know that you fucked a lot of people. So you don't even have to give me the number. Oh. I just know it's a lot. Everybody thinks... That, you know, I'm so, I'm some no inky bitch. You know what I'm saying? I get accused of that a lot from mm-hmm. women who think I'm a misogynist and men who think I'm a pick me. Mm-hmm. I recently had a lot of TikToks because a lot of the stuff I talk about, it makes me sound like a misogynist. We've been popping up on TikTok though. Ooh. For like the first four months. Yeah. And then I slowed, I, I stagnated. Are you going to have to change your content again? No, it's because I stopped posting. But you're dodging the question a lot. But ballpark it, ballpark it. Ballpark? Uh, Over how much? 30, 40? Oh, dude. Okay. 
You're fine. Yeah. Especially for a gay guy, you're fine. Right? If I was gay, I'd be in my some thousands. Of these, some of these dudes, oh my god. Scary. Different dude every night. Do you is it because you're so particular or not really? I did have my whole phase. Okay. I mean we're in our thirties now, so if whole phase is thirty to forty, then that's a very tame whole phase. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So you're you're prime marriage material then. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't well, if for somebody who cares about body count, right? Mm-hmm. I actually no. For somebody who cares about body count, you're a slut. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> True. There's like <laughs> all these fucking cis white men who are uh, like body count matters in a woman, and like, if it's over three, it's too much. You're a slut. It's like shut the fuck up. Then what you're going for is basically just like no inky bitches, hot girls who know their worth and their sexual beings. Right? They're gonna have their number up. Also, I feel like sex is one of the things you gotta have. You kind of. I almost want to say you wanna have almost a a lot of because you learn a lot from that and that's and meeting people that's the the mindset difference so some people who are more conservative is like you don't need a lot of people to mm-hmm. learn you could be with one committed person yeah. and learn and teach each other's body and stuff like mm-hmm. that and grow together like that and I'm like what are you gonna do like sit down and watch porn and read books together and be like How, <laughs> these techniques there, there's just certain yeah, things right. like, like you can only like I learned a lot of shit from books because mm-hmm. I'm a nerd and mm-hmm. I had no inky before because mm-hmm. I'm an ugly piece of shit so <laughs> I learned actually a lot from and here's a recommendation for straight guys she comes first is the first book I ever read and it's mm-hmm. basically how to eat pussy nice yeah yeah and then you learn, and you watch some videos and stuff it's not porn porn because mm-hmm. you can't really learn how to please a woman through porn porn mm-hmm. but there's like the central point in the like the instructional porn yeah and I learned how to finger properly mm-hmm. you know get a girl crazy you know all that yeah. kind of stuff like that how did you learn did they teach you things or did you just experiment be like okay this works for this many guys so it's a good thing across the board. I guess so in that way, yeah. But also for me, when it comes to sex, I prefer, first of all, I cannot come first. If I come first, it's over. Like, uh, yeah, get, pull, yeah, yeah. pop that shit out. I'm going to the bathroom mm. to take a shower. Mm. Um, so, But for me, I get, most of my pleasure comes from pleasuring the other person. Mm. So, you know. I need to find me a girl like that. <laughs> really? I'm like that too. So I need a girl like that. I thought that would be me. the default though for straight couples. What? Like the guy... Is pleasuring the girl. Actually, no. You get that's why you get a lot of these. It depends about guys that it depends, like, yeah. fuck it, pump it. it no, just... most women have very, very bad experiences with sex. Mm. Right, a lot of straight dudes just don't give a fuck. Mm. They don't put the time in to learn. No, and, then yeah, because I was a no inky bitch. No inky bit inky. No being. popularity. No popularity. No, you know, like it's almost like if you're a guy, you have to grow up not popular in order to be good at I it. Feel because if you're popular, so it's so easy, so you never have to learn. That is so true. You know what I mean? I was doing Get Ready With Me recently, and one of the questions is, why are you so funny? And I literally was like, it's trauma. Yes! You gotta go through shit, too. Yes! You know? If you are not popular, you have to find a way to become popular, to make friends. And yeah. the only way to do that is to be humorous. Yeah. It's to be able to read somebody and go, how do I make this person smile? Mm-hmm. Right? Or how do I make this, how am I, you know? And that's consideration. And then there's the opposite where it also gives you all, all these scars and shit. You have a chip on your shoulder. That's true. And, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So, you know, trauma. <laughs> so you say, you say you're in that camp of having to learn how to. Absolutely. I had to learn to be this way. Really? Maybe not. Like as a child child, mm-hmm. I think I was always an extroverted. I made a lot of friends when I grew up like in Montreal because yeah, yeah. I grew up there. Then I moved to Vancouver, mm-hmm. you know, when you're a new kid on the block and that thing. Yeah. Right? And then, and then elementary school was fucking horrible. Really? So I made. The decision I was like, I'm not gonna fucking spend high school like that. Yeah. So I was like, experiment, let's try, let's talk, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And then I made a really good group of friends and came out of my shell. But I was still the ugliest of my group of friends, mm. and they were all like sports and handsome as fuck. Really? There was one guy who was so handsome, he got complex. He got insecure about do the girls want to be with me because I'm hot or be- or because wow. they actually like me. He was that hot. Yeah. That's interesting. So I grew up with that. And mm-hmm. so this being attractive thing, even though it's been 10 years, mm-hmm. it's still only a third of my life. Yeah. It's crazy. But yeah. So body count three or 30. But the, if you can't, if you lost track. It, it means it's fucking high. Ah! Shit. If you don't, if you don't know your number, because you yeah. know your number if it's low, oh, you know, yeah, not the exact one, but you know. I got lost count a few years Someone after Someone's a you know. slut. The come guys can oh. yeah. I can't even, I can't even deny that because on my podcast, our whole concept is that we're sluts. So, oh. do you tell like in-depth stories on your podcast? If I can remember them, okay. Yeah. Podcast link here or in the description. Second question: If you had a choice, would you choose to have been born straight or would you stay gay? <sighs> I feel like if I were straight, born straight, 
getting to this point now, I would have had more opportunities to find relationship. Uh, but the thing that's like keeping me back is I feel like <laughs> being gay, I have more of a personality. That's definitely a thing. Right. Because you're forced to have a personality, right? But it depends on the question. The question, like, am I born again? You are knowing, born again. Uh, um, like, wow, I'm born again. Knowing what you've gone through as gay, mm-hmm. would you, and seeing your straight friends and how their lives are and mm-hmm. stuff like that, mm-hmm. would you choose to be born straight if you had to redo it all? I don't know. I would say gay, but also, <sighs> wouldn't you say that having some aspects of life would be much easier if you were stri- born straight? The, the, the the normal the default very heavy quotations i guess it depends right? it depends yeah but also i wouldn't know because maybe what if i was born straight and none of the girls were into me because when i go to the club more girls are interested in me than guys but i'm like honey we both suck dick so i don't know why you're, <laughs> you're talking to me we're both guzzle cum oh we're both we're both cum dumpsters yeah cum dumpsters. and yeah. if you don't solo get out of this video because you're a loser are you supposed to be drinking because I'm answering these questions? Only if you don't. Oh, right. Shit. Yeah. You answered the first one. Oh, both well, of you them. You caught me. So you got it twice, mama. Mm. Then you go, cut you right here. I was, hey. I was, I was joking. I was telling because I never see the point in these games because I'm always just sipping all the time. Yeah. So even from playing Sue game with friends, like alcohol games, I'm literally just like, and I forget. Well, that. the thing is, I also went easy on the soju because you have something to do after this. I didn't want to fuck you up, but I nah, could have brought I'll tequila be, I'll be or vodka. Like, really? it's, it's just four questions. Are you super strong? Cool, yeah, like, it, you, it was eight because I wanted to go. If you answer all eight, it would be a whole bottle. But Sis. again, because you have something to do after, I didn't. Do you have eight questions? You no, I only did four because you know I was being considerate. But maybe if eight, if the ever. eight, if it's if the fucking the results are good on this, I'll have you again and we'll go. Because <laughs> I do want to try this. Cheers. Oh yeah. Cheers to that. Mm. It's so smooth too. It's not no that or anything like that. It's basically water. How is it? How is Ugh. it? Oh, it's disgusting. It tastes like um carbonated like Gatorade. This is pineapple Fanta. That's what it is. Oh like. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, you don't like that? Oh, most people like. I'm it. not much of a pineapple though. person. But mm. don't not go- that not. These string of straight men trying to no deal, no I can't handle you it. guys know no here's the thing I'm actually surprised that you don't know this about me you're bisexual I no I wish girl I wish if there's but, one thing y'all need to know is that me and Happy like he's the one that got away Katy Perry wrote that song for me if this day, man wasn't day. so fucking obsessed with pussies. I'd be all. I'd be married. We'd be married by now. Uh, yo, thumbs up to that. <laughs> Leave a comment, Leave a, like, ten thousand like likes want on me this to video. Turn, to turn sides, yeah. Yo, everybody, everybody online thinks I'm gay. Not everybody, right? But all I got. Why do you think so? I limp wrist. I talk in like a melody that mm. straight guys don't talk in. I, I'm very animated in that way. Um, I've always loved like gay humor. If I wasn't straight, I'd hundred percent be gay because of all the signs that I'm gay. Like I love crossing my legs when I sit, and mm-hmm. I have so many comments about that really? on TikTok. And they're like, my favorite insult, roast comment. And I've talked about this in my other podcasts. Uh-huh. But if any of you think this guy's not a master flesh flute player, you guys are insane. That is nasty. So <laughs> fucking creative. Thumbs up to him. Yeah, Whoever. right. Master. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. I but I am I am actually so upset that I'm not at least bi. Like I wish I could like dick mm-hmm. because I'm so fucking horny all the time. It would be so easy if dick was an option. Unfortunately, I'm very pussy driven. I did talk about how the only dick I would ever entertain would be a trans, like girl, like male to female, mm-hmm. but only if. I'm literally fooled into thinking she's a biological woman. So she has no as sign. in she doesn't tell you. Uh, no, no. As in I literally can't tell. I know there's a lot of the woke people that are like, straight guys say they can tell, they can tell, but they mm-hmm. can't. It's like, I can tell. Right. I when you tell. when you put it in. No, I can tell from looking from, at somebody. Uh, but there are some trans women that I'm like, mm-hmm. I would not know. Right, right, right. And she's like a nine. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, if she whipped the dick out, I'd still, mm-hmm. I'd, that's the only situation where I'm like, okay. Oh, so the ones that didn't have surgery. I don't care. Yeah, that, uh, like that's what I mean. Like if that is the only situation where Dick would nice. maybe be okay, but I've never been in that situation, so I wouldn't know how I would react. That's but interesting. If, yeah, but if I don't know that she's she was a man, then that means by all accounts, then she's a woman. I follow this person on OnlyFans, right? Ooh, oh, you subscribe for this shit? Yeah. 
How Honey. much? Okay, how much are you subscribing for that shit? Let's make that an extra question. How many people I'm subscribed to? No, how much are you paying for OnlyFans right now? In, in total? total? In total. Probably only like, not that much right now. Probably like 20, 30 bucks. Okay, I don't. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have made that rule. Suck. What? That was easy for you to answer. Well, this, not, that was not in a shame question. Is a ran- if you, if you nah, were- yeah, this is a random question. Okay, okay, asking, okay, okay. So it's fine. But, um, girl, I'm literally about to. They're, they're using it's like cross dress or something, something, right? Wig. Female clothing, but they just have a dick. Girl, I need to get into this life because they get some of the hottest boys on here. And you're making money. Making money. Bank. But the thing I always find so interesting is that when Is there a gay OnlyFans? Hmm? Is there a gay OnlyFans or is OnlyFans the biggest even amongst the gays? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, exactly okay. that. Okay. But yeah, they get some of the hottest guys, but then like, these hot guys who would be topping her, him. So you're a bottom. Then. I'm a bottom. Okay. But they'd be sucking their dick. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm. They pull the panty across. So I'm like, slide to the I side. I the psychology like behind, girl. When we get sponsored, you know? right? I really fucking hope, right? I'm literally gonna email Clue, but then this is sponsored by Clue. By the mm-hmm. way, if you love Pineapple Fanta, this is the no, zero it's sugar the version of it. Yeah. So I'm like, they said this, this, this thing though, especially in Korea. Yeah. I've always said in the most suppressed societies, you got the you got the crazy ones. You got the crazy ones, and in, in Korea, honey, do you like it crazy? Like in that well, I, well, I say crazy, but by crazy, I just mean like I notice there's a lot more like bi guys here than in any other place. You think it's a it's a cultural thing then? Probably. It must be right. I, oh, absolutely. So then, do you think sexual orientation is a culture and situation thing, or think it's a biological thing? I really feel like it depends on the situation. I've always thought that it's a biological so, thing. Right? You're bored one way. You'd think so, or and depending on how you grew up. Situations it could change. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because who knows? So all that shit about being born this way, fake news. And there's actually a group of in the LGBT community. They're anti. We were born this way now. Anti born this way. Do you know why? Why? So their stance is, if you claim that it's genetic, mm-hmm. then that means there has there sooner or later they're going to find that genetic marker in the DNA mm-hmm. to differentiate you gay or not. Mm-hmm. And then when that happens, they're afraid that straight people will do eugenics. Eugenics? Like, yeah. To like, abort the baby that's gay. Because they can check the DNA. Because they can find that. Uh, th- so, for example, I think you can find markers of like Down syndrome. I think it was one of the Scandinavian countries, Sweden or something, mm-hmm. where they give you the option to abort if you can find the marker. Mm-hmm. And so they've taken that policy and transplanted it to go, you can we're not born this way anymore. That's crazy. Don't fucking do the research because if you could, because if people put enough money into the research and they find the gay gene, they're afraid on mass the straights will start aborting gay. Do you think they would have found it by now though? I don't know. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments. Third question. You've done a lot of collabs, mm-hmm. and also I don't know what your private life is like because you're a big famous YouTuber, <laughs> and I don't know whose elbows and shoulders you're up against. But have you fucked any? Actors or idols? And if so, who? No. You're not fucking lying? No. I fucked someone that, I don't was, a, believe. that was a get. No. On a show that I did. Oh, give okay, Or preparing to be one. So then trainee. And then ended up becoming one. Mm-mm. Oh, damn. Yeah. How sad is it? A lot of people ask me that, but unfortunately, the boring answer is no. I fucked a guest that I've had on, uh, not on my own channel, but another channel that I, that I uh, MC on. Oh, oh! Have you ever fucked a collab then? Mm-hmm. Somebody you've worked with yeah. besides that person. Besides, besides that person, because I think you fucked somebody. One, person, a guest right? on another show, right? Yeah, but, but have not, you fucked with anybody that, on my channel? Yeah, yes. Woo! Yeah. Write in the comments your guess of but, who it was. But more likely than not, I was probably already dating them. Oh, uh, that doesn't fucking count then. Yeah. If you're talking about just like a random, like, oh, we collabed and then we ended up fucking Yeah, like point. you're a predator inviting them on your channel so that you can get to know them. <laughs> Using my them. power you know of uh, my... Yeah, the yeah. power imbalance, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, ne- no, never? No, not because most of the people that come on my channel are straight. A lot of people don't realize that. And if, if they're gay, it, we're, hmm. we're, we're, we're besties anyway, so it's like, I'm not going to fuck them. Do you collaborate with straight people, like, on purpose? Because... Like what? Um, not necessarily on purpose, but just even in my real life, most of my guy friends are straight. Well, I think just because it's nine to one, straight guys mm-hmm. to gay guys, right? Yeah, that's true. Right, and if you if you're not like super exclusive to just the gay community, then mm-hmm. you're gonna meet more straight yeah, people. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Is that common, by the way, gay people in, in watching? Like, because I know there's are 
a lot of gay people that are like fucking hate straight people so they mm-hmm. only yeah, yeah, LGBT that's true. people right but like yeah. more often than not in general do you think more gay people are just open to hanging out with everybody or I guess so I mean I've seen people that are like all their friends are only girls some that all their friends uh, are... it's different though really like gays like we understand gays that hang out with just girls really because you know, they Same. identify more or mm-hmm. they're more sassy or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But like hanging out with straight guys, I mean, like mm. having straight guy friends. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think it's that common actually. Because I would think it would be difficult, right? It would be like guys hanging out with hot girls all the time and not being able to fuck them. Mm-hmm. Which is why there's the nice guy syndrome and the he's not your friend, he's trying to fuck you syndrome. Yeah, yeah Right? Yeah. And that's something else that's about me that's a little bit different from a lot of straight guys. I have girl friends. Mm hmm. That I don't want to fuck, but they're pretty girls. Do you hang out with them often, though? Yeah. Like, really? I'm roommates with one of them now. Oh. Me. The first girl okay. in my podcast. Yeah, yeah. I've been hang out for like two years. Go get coffee. No, we don't. So, we don't, but that's a money issue. Really? Yeah. Because she's 10 years younger than me, so I'm going to have to pay for everything. <laughs> and <laughs> so, I would you don't want to pay. Not. So, so, you don't really have that many girlfriends that you just hang out with. I don't hang out with guys either. Do you have anybody you can call a best friend? Xander. Dinner. Yeah, but even then, it wouldn't be like your typical best friend. Dana got married, right? We don't hang out. Yeah, yeah, he's married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has his own production I company. I wanted him so badly. Oh, yeah. I wanted him so badly. You wanted both The way I wanted We Fancy so badly. Ooh. But that's also could be just be desperation. Oh, yeah, like the Thick Boys, though, right? I love Thick Boys. Yeah. You got, a, you got a nice legs or an ass. Mm. Xander, you got a fat. He got a fucking fatty. He got a booty on him. For a white boy? He got a booty. He got a booty. It's those English boys. Got and the, the accent and the voice Ooh. so deep. And and I love the way he laughs. The way he laughs? Yeah. I think one of the things that popped us off in terms of the channel too is oh. because of the way he laughs. I really? did a whole fucking analysis of popular YouTubers. What? Yeah. <laughs> the best YouTubers, the ones with the most subscribers, mm. they all have an addictive laugh. Really? All of them. KSI is uh-huh. kind of a cringy laugh. All the Beta Squad guys, <laughs> you know, Charms and Philly and uh. all of them. All of them have like an amazing laugh. That you can, it's just you can listen to that laugh all the time. You're just kind of waiting for them mm-hmm. to laugh. Yeah, yeah. And I think his laugh is like he laughs a lot. First of all, very mm-hmm. easy to get him to laugh. And then when he laughs, it's fucking mm-hmm. like yeah, I get fucking that, yeah. music. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't hate my voice. It's fucking high and squeaky like Kevin Hart, you know. But he became <laughs> he's worth 150 million dollars. So you yeah, know, but go. you make it sound like that's that's not how it like it should be that way, and that should be for a like, man. No. It's got to be like this. It's got to be sex and shit. Like your voice is, does not fit your face. I get that a lot. You've got like the sexy, straight, women-loving voice. When I speak like English, chocolate. but when I start speaking Korean, it gets higher. Everybody speaks Which is Korean. usually the opposite for a lot of people. When they speak Korean, their voice gets lower. No, 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 no. It's only like that mm-hmm. if you learn from men. Mm, uh, but I if you learn from women, from women. I learn from women. Like straight guys learn from their mm-hmm. dates or mm-hmm. whatever. Or trying to hit on girls, yeah. right? They learn from the women, so they uh, sound more feminine yeah, when they okay, speak okay. Korean. So this is actually another way that the Koreans figure out if you're a foreigner or not. <laughs> yeah. Based on how you... Yeah, because if you're a Korean guy, you'll speak like a guy who went to the army and all that true, kind of stuff. True, true, yeah, true. Yeah. But if you're a foreigner, you speak like a bitch. Yeah. And I say bitch <laughs> with, with 100% love. love. Yeah. Yeah, I love <laughs> me my bitches. Okay, mm. next question. Maybe you want to answer this. Korean gays, mm-hmm. what is the smallest you've ever had? The and smallest? what is the biggest you've ever had? The smallest... And the biggest were both my exes. Okay, oh. yes. And there's a second part, but you okay. answered this one first. My infamous video about dating an idol training. Ah. <laughs> he was my small he was the smallest. And I complain this about all the time on my pod on the podcast that I do. Just literally this. No. I'm not I wish I was joking. I'm not joking. The real word literally, not the not literally literally. Mm, literally. Like tiny. Uh and skinny. Which sucks, but uh, but this skinny too. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. I'd for kill like, myself. Yeah. Like penis skinny, like but that's you know, no, but that's pe- what I'm saying. The penis is it is this. really fucking small. Okay, that's and I've always said I always defended him in the way that he was a fantastic boyfriend. It's just that he lied about a lot, like ninety nine percent of his life. So he's so, not a fantastic boyfriend then. In terms of taking care of me, he was great. Oh, right. But yeah. the sex is just like meh, I never enjoyed sex with him that much. Yeah, I would off myself. Really. Well, because then the only sex you can ever have is to pay for it. <laughs> right? True. Is that not true? Mm. Ladies, is that not true? Like, Ladies. you could, here's the thing, right? So I've had a lot of girls who are like, oh, sex is not that important. Like, if everything else is perfect. Mm-hmm. But then everything else has to be perfect. Exactly. Right? You have to try 10 times harder 
Like your money has to be right. You have to be emotionally yep. intelligent. You have mm-hmm. to be fucking everything. You cannot have an argument. You cannot have any incompatibilities because the moment you have one incompatibility, bitch, your dick small. I'm gonna fuck somebody else. Yeah, sounds like that's kind of true, right? Sex is not everything, it's but it's a thing. If you don't fuck. You gotta at least talk about it so you know what your differences mm-hmm. are. Like, yeah. if you're like, I, I like shitting in people's mouths, and you're like, that's not for me, you know. But if she's Ariana Grande, maybe I'll do it once, you know. <laughs> there was a thing that Eddie really was not into. I think feet or something. Yeah, feet. Feet is feet. a funny thing because that's the biggest fetish, by the way. Right, but for him, he fucking hates it. Like talking about it. I don't get it either. Yeah, I was like, I was thinking of some random hot songgang, sweet home. Eddie's obsessed with it. We're both obsessed with him. But I was like, what if he wanted to date you? But he has a thing for feet. He's like, I don't fucking care. He can shit in my mouth. So I was like. So it depends on who it is. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But if we're talking about regular ass people, that's when it, you know. But but if you have standards, would you be with a regular ass person? True. Right? True. Only the best. Poop. <laughs> well. No, it's too straight. Just <laughs> our dicks. Just high-fiving. Yeah, okay. The biggest then. The X before him. How big? I don't even know centimeters and like... Draw it. Constimation of exactly how long it was and how thick it was. I'll tell you though. We always have, oh, big dick. Uh, but for me, the thing that turned me off about his big dick was the fact that it got hard forward. So, oh, it curved Instead down. of curving up. Like yeah, most, yeah, yeah, yeah. It curves It's not forward. aesthetic. Not aesthetic, but also it hurts. Oh. Because I like facing them, like if I'm riding them or whatever, reverse cowgirl or whatever it's called, where I'm sitting on them, they're looking at me, they're lying down. Actual cowgirl. Uh, when you're facing them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're laying down, I'm riding. The way it goes into the body is different. Like it, no, because it goes backwards and the prostate toward, is backwards. Towards this not... way. Wait, the prostate is this way? Or is it this way? Anyway, I don't know anything about that. Anyway, put it in the just, Googles. Yeah. Don't draw the curve. I think you're drawing the curve. Just like, wait. Yeah, there's something. Okay, okay. You're going to draw the full thing. Okay. Oh, we're getting some spicy real details. It's pretty big. That was the approximation? I guess That's the actual approximation? Give me that. Well, it's probably thicker than this, but it's so long. I always describe it as this. It's not that long. I didn't draw it well because. Don't ask me how I know. Anyway, it's big and I don't. I mean, it was. It's hurt. It's six inches. Is it six like the average though? Yeah, but it's not massive. It's definitely bigger than the average. I know that. Oh, yeah. then maybe seven. Especially that for seven Korean. Is big. Seven Especially is for a in, Korean, in honey. Uh, okay, I've had wait. black dick before. Let me tell you. So I have had girl. Fr- I have a lot of female friends, mm-hmm. not girlfriends, female friends, mm-hmm. right? And they have told me, so I've heard stories of the pinky. Way too many stories of the pinky. <laughs> That's actually nuts how many <laughs> famous guys do. Ooh. So I had a friend send me a dick pic mm-hmm. of the guy she was about to fuck. Mm-hmm. You couldn't really see the length because of the, the angle, uh-huh. but he, he was a Red Bull can. Ooh. Like not, not this, right, like a Red the Bull The larger can. Red Bull can. No, in terms of the thickness, he was a Red Bull can. Yeah. Oh, and maybe even a little bit thicker than that. And she was like, he, he, he's, he's like ripping me in half. You know, he's he's gonna rip me in half. I don't know about y'all, but that does not turn me on. Ah, uh, that's the second part of the question. Is like, uh, would you rather it be, be too small or too big? <sighs> two. It has to be two. Probably too big. Because too small was like I can't do anything. But I thought you said that your whole thing was pleasuring the other person, right? Right. That's true. So, but I want to have some fun too. Because I I told the story on my podcast. I'll tell you too. Yeah. Um, back in the days of Tumblr, like we had like I don't know. Were you on Tumblr? Never. I, I was on Tumblr for porn. Mood. Same. But you know of the popular of Tumblr. Yeah, I, I know Tumblr. Yeah. Yeah. There was like this group of popular gay West Coast Asians. However, there was one boy, Korean, <laughs> super popular amongst the gays. Because mm. he was handsome. But if we look at him now, he would not be handsome. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I think that's a testament to like our standards at this point. with like K-pop Oh, so they that. didn't change. It's just that your tastes have upgraded. I suppose so, but at the time, we thought everyone thought he was super fucking hot. Right. I don't know how the fuck it happened, but I, he ended up coming to my house. What do you mean? You don't I was like, this is like, this is like, I felt like I was fucking a celebrity because everybody wanted him. Everyone wanted him, mm. but I was like, I don't want this fucking dick. Tell me why this man pulls his pants down, and he really said Tootsie Roll. Not just that. That's one thing, okay? Whatever. Depends on how you rock the boat. Or no body shame. Saying. No body shame. It's okay, whatever. I, for me, it's more like the whole experience. Mm. Tell me why. Tell me why this man puts it in. Two seconds later, I think it came. <sighs> That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. You it's, can't control it, though. I guess. You can't control it. The trigger, the serotonin, and everything. You can't control it. True. 
I was very upset. Oh. But also, I kept lying. I kept lying to you. I'm happy. I kept lying to you. A part of me was like, I fucking did that. <laughs> Yo. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I heard I, like, yeah, yeah, I fucking yeah. did that. So, oh. yeah, even with the straight girls, it's like that. Really? So, half of them are like, fuck you. Like, you mm. can't get me off. You're a piece of shit, right? Mm. The other half is like, I did that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but you know, I was a little bit disappointed by the whole series. So the fantasy was just like shot. Well, you know, and the gag. What do you mean the gag? The gag of it all. Okay. I ended up finding out later he was already he was dating someone. Mm. Oof. Apologies to you. I had it's, no idea. It's the it's the insecurity. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. It's like I can't Cheers satisfy my partner. I gotta fucking <laughs> do this. So I gotta fucking fuck other people. The final question in this series. This is probably you won't answer this. Oh. I will not bleep the name out. Really? I will not bleep the name out. So I don't think you're gonna drink anyway, though. Ha! Is there a creator you absolutely detest, and who is it, and why? I feel like this you is the fucking wrong... hate. I feel like this is also a wrong question to ask me because I don't everybody? care about anybody. Fuck! I'll I'll try to think of one though. One that I actually hate, like or true. one that you have like very negative views. Negative of. Maybe views you don't of hate, but you're like this person's a user. This person's a social climber. This person's a bitch or whatever. If you answer it, I'll drink. But if you don't, I won't. And you have to drink it. And no chaser. Mm. And it's a full shot. There's one person I kind of have on my mind, but I don't know if this is like a distaste that's strong enough to even more if it's even worth mentioning. Well, if they're the worst person, not I wouldn't say they're the worst person. The worst. They just do something stuff that annoys me. But Dude, go ahead. Then. Yeah, yeah. Now this person needs to know that that you think she's annoying or he's annoying, and they have to change the personality or just not hang out with you and be too afraid to hang out with you. You know. I, I think I'll drink. Oh, finally, finally. Because I, I don't. I just think it's not not because I really people that watch me know I don't care about anything. Mm. Like I don't. I never hate anyone enough to. If I don't like someone, I just ignore them. And I like, have beef with people for sure. <sighs> if I have a license to kill, a lot of people will be dead. Yeah. All right, let's take a shot and yeah. we'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. Cheers to. Uh, no I'm not gonna I fucking bring that shit up. Could you get get canceled. But you didn't want to answer. I give you oh! a full shot. That's what I'm saying. You haven't fucking. Yeah. Oh, chase, no chase, you no chase, no chase, because it's a punishment. No chase. Can I have this at least? Yeah, you can have the beer. Yeah, it's a beer. Alcohol, chase alcohol with alcohol. I'll beer. answer it though. Even though yeah. I drank, yeah, okay. just for solidarity. Okay, here we go. Uh, here we this, go. Is, this is here how we go. this is how unevolved I am. Mm -hmm. This is how insecure of a person I am. Right? Why? They're gonna accuse me of this anyway. Okay. <laughs> Basically, my first girlfriend, mm -hmm. not her. She's fine, mm -hmm. you know, because I understand the things that she did. But the guy that stole her from me, Ooh. it would be different if he was super fucking handsome and a great guy and nice, you know, and and he deserved. Stealing all the bitches, then I'd be like, whatever. No. I lost. <laughs> but this motherfucker, let me tell you this fucking story. In elementary school, <gasps> mm. he was that fat rich kid mm -hmm. that would buy McDonald's mm -hmm. and during lunch he'd be like, anybody want fries? And mm -hmm. he would go the attention. But everybody hated him. They only wanted him for the fries because he was an asshole. Even as a kid, he was an asshole. So b besides the buying of the French fries, he no, yeah, ruined. everybody hated him, right? Really? And but I never had. So there's something about me, right? And I carry this personality for like even till now. I don't judge people on how on their experiences with other people, mm -hmm. which is kind of fucking dumb because you're supposed to learn from past experience, right? Mm -hmm. History. Mm -hmm. They can be the most horrible people from rumors, but they have to prove to me that they're horrible to me. I'll give them a chance no, to I, yeah, be good that, to yeah, me. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. The thing about assholes mm -hmm. and narcissists, mm -hmm. they have to develop their first impressions. What do you mean by that? All narcissists, mm -hmm. um, they have very, very good first impressions. Mm -hmm. And that's how they trap Oh, people. right, right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. right. They're outgoing, mm -hmm. they're kind, they're generous, mm -hmm. right? In order to trap the people into mm -hmm. their cycle. So in high school, I was like, oh, he's kind of alone. You know, we came from the same elementary school. I was already dating this girl, love of my life at the time. Wait, well, how old were you? Grade eight, man. <laughs> like early. Uh -huh. I invited him to our friend group. Okay. Because he was, you know, I was like, I'm not going to judge you. Friends, you know? even though everyone in your friend group knew he was like, Oh, he's an asshole. Or here's the funny thing two the two guys in my friend group that were also from my school didn't have a problem with it, okay? Because mm -hmm. maybe he's the social climber, right? So he'll treat the people that are higher up in the hierarchy better. Mm -hmm. So they didn't have ex bad experiences okay, with him either, yeah. Uh -huh. So it's like, Oh, okay, it's natural. We're all from the same elementary school. Let's hang out and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. He stole that bitch from me, and this is where I get all my insecurities in terms of. 
what I believe that women want. I believe that women want a good body because by that time he was a fat kid, but in high school he started working out. That's know, when he stuff. stole. He became yeah. So he became this guy with the mumtang. He's got like the. Oh, he even shit. did like body oil. Everybody made fun of him about that because it's high school, right? Mm-hmm. But now you know, all the body profiles and shit in Korea, right? Yeah. And he was rich, like damn. Mother was a uh, either mother. So mother and father. One mm-hmm. was a lawyer. One was a stockbroker. Yeah. yeah. So we're talking His about parents? yeah. So we're talking about he was in high school with a Porsche Cayenne at the time. Oh, damn. From this experience, I'm like, <gasps> bitches only want good bodies because his face was not good. So good bodies. Oh, really? Yeah. Good it, body. But it wasn't a case of like the body helped He the wasn't face. ugly, but he was like below average, I would say. The body but definitely helped. helped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I don't believe women when they say they don't care about looks and money. I don't. Mm-hmm. I just don't. But it's also backed up by all the other women in my life that like they mm-hmm. care about that stuff, right? But I know there's plenty of you that don't care about that. You just care about personality and love and all that kind of stuff. But I don't believe it. Deep down, I don't believe it because really? of this trauma, right? I was like, this guy is never going to change unless some calamity happens to him. Because you never change unless something bad happens yeah, to yeah. you. Right? Yeah. So if I was a billionaire, something bad would happen. From yeah. that long ago. And this is how you know I'm an insecure piece of shit. And all of you that accuse me of that are my haters. You guys are validated now. That I make sucks, your, though. I live to serve. Cheers to that, man. I feel bad. You don't have to Because there's bad. those experiences, I get enough though. pussy. I'm pretty sure you get good pussy, but, like, you're not at that point, though, in your life where you're just, like, you want to meet a nice person. Well, I am. This is why my fuckboy phase is over. I've been right. out, like, for a while now, I'm not willing to go through the steps anymore. I hear about this a lot from guys, straight guys. The steps. When you date somebody, yeah. what's like the situation like in terms of paying for things? For me, my love language is just like buying stuff. Okay. So generally, gifts, yeah. Sure. Uh, even with not even just potential lovers, but just friends, enjoy, is it enjoy the right word? I prefer to pay myself. Don't get me wrong. I'm a provider mindset too. Mm-hmm. When I have the ability to do it, <laughs> I love doing it. Mm-hmm. For example, whenever I'm with my brother, mm-hmm. it's different because my brother is ride or die. So I would just, if I ever go broke, I'll spend, you know, mm-hmm. I got to take care of him. Yeah, yeah. He has a wife too. So he's got to, you know, he's got somebody else that he has to take care of. Uh-huh. I take care of him. Right? Uh-huh. But like some bitch, I don't know, in the first few days, like you would like paying but in general is it also expected of you though for me i don't think it's expected okay for guys it is especially in my age if i was 25 dating a 25 maybe it might be different because their Mm. understanding of the Mm. age different right Mm. but i'm 35 yeah if i'm dating a 25 year old that's a 10 year difference they're expecting me to be at a certain level in my life already Mm. which is another reason so i have a hot friend who was like the only reason why hot young girls date older guys Mm. is for that Mm. otherwise they would just date a hot uh-huh. guy in their age uh-huh. range uh-huh. but then i've had other girls say no because guys in their age range are immature and they're kind of stupid and shit especially yeah. in korea i'm okay with getting to know them and being friends with them but yeah. i'm not gonna do all this stuff and try to chase i don't chase anymore that's the thing when you're at a certain age you want somebody who's as into you mm-hmm. as you are into mm-hmm. them and if yep. they're into you you can feel the vibes yep but okay let's say you do meet someone right yeah. but you said you had that past trauma i was wondering if that affected you're dating like now. Absolutely. Well, like if there's any sort of sign where it's just like, I don't know. No, this is how bad I am. This is mm-hmm. how traumatized and broken of mm-hmm. a person I am. Mm-hmm. Like I expect you to be exclusive. Mm-hmm. If I really love you, I want you for myself. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. if I love somebody to that level, uh-huh. if they came up to me and said, happy, your dick is just too small for me or whatever. Uh-huh. Right? If she's a size queen or whatever, she's like, she, she needs the eight, 10, the size inches, queen. you know what I'm saying? Or if she's got uh, like some sort of fetish that I just am not willing to do, mm-hmm. right? And she's like, I just need it for something else. I love you. I want to stay with you. I want to do everything. I want to treat you like a king or whatever, right? But I need that mm-hmm. with somebody else. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, yeah. Do it. Right? Really? Yeah. It's that stuff. That- because I'm so picky that if I've chosen somebody to be my one, mm-hmm. then I will just let her do whatever it is that allows her to still be with me like if it's a deal breaker for her i'll just let her do it with someone else whatever her deal breakers are with if i'm if this is the person i want to be with then i am gonna behave in a way where there are no deal breakers i will not do her deal breakers but i will just get rid of all my yeah i will my i will match the person that i'm with that's wild i've never heard of this yeah 
Wow. But I've never been in that situation, so maybe maybe if I am faced with the situation, I won't be able to handle it. I'll just you never been in the situation, but this is how you think it would happen because of all the the past um, dating mm-hmm. that I've been through and what mm-hmm. I've learned from yeah. each person. Right, so I would rather be with this person than not be with this person. You know? Okay, but that could also just be a self esteem thing. Maybe mm-hmm. later on, you know, if you know my, this podcast does fucking well, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm I feel like, like you don't even do this podcast enough. I think the last one I saw was Zello. Yeah. Speaking no, of which. No, and Ila. So I'm doing it like once a month. Speaking of which, mm. here I am. I keep talking to you about Zello, but yet you refuse. I want to introduce you. And you that collab. should have been something that you said the first conversation. Just ask me. You're bigger than I am. You can ask anything of me. Okay. If I was a user, if I was a social climber, I would do it Comment for you. down below. Yeah, do a collaboration. I know. We're, oh, he's we're going friends. to the army soon, though. We're friends. He's going to the army soon, though. So exactly. you have to do it fucking fast. Exactly. You got to do it fucking but fast. But I'm saying, we're friends. Why? There's no notion of cloud chasing. Yeah, but we don't hang out. And I'm not sure Because of you. you. No, no. Because of you. You have to take a shot for this. No, no. You have to because take a shot for this. Let me tell you exactly what, what you, saw, you said to me. Okay. You said to me in a shisha place. Okay. It, like a basement shisha place. Was like he, he paid for everything. He's amazing. <laughs> yeah. You take this shot because this is a punishment for, for what I'm about to fucking remind you. Okay. Of. Take it. First. Well, I have to hear what you say first because it okay. could be wrong. I was like, hey, why don't we hang out more? I would love to hang out with you more in the place. And he was like, I don't hang out with you anymore because you're like, you didn't say these exact words, but you're the one that, you know, it, it, I feel awkward because I'm trying to, you know, we don't have that. Because so I don't what? want I don't want to see you. Because what? I don't want to hang out with you. Because what? Because I'm trying to. Because you know, I'm going to fuck you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, That's I don't true. like that. Yeah, I don't want to do that. You know, so you're like. I don't want to hang out with you. I don't want to see you. I don't know if you were joking, but I took that seriously. Probably half joking, half serious. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Fucking joking from shit. a serious place. It is his fault, not my fault. 100%. Guy, Fuck you. I, I like, cannot believe hey, you put this on me. We can't That's waste, we fucking can't waste crazy. it. We can't waste it. Okay, I'll drink too because I want to drink. I have another bottle, so whatever. I only prepared one. Oh my God. From the very beginning, and you can actually ask Xander, you can ask anybody okay. that I've talked about you. I was like, Eddie is one of the fucking greatest creators, first of all, on the planet. And I would watch everything that you did. Not anymore because I'm a little bitch, but... No, no, I get that. The way that you make videos, the way that you talk on camera, the way that you are just so yourself when you're on camera, I really, really looked up to that. Because I'm not like that. And on a podcast, sure, because it's long... Right, but in like talking head videos and videos, I still do that little slightly presentary kind of voice, which I think is stuff like honestly for me, my, personally, I feel it's almost like a bragging point because I feel like whenever we're video doing videos together, it's not that way. Always, yeah, right. Yeah, because which is why I, I bounce off the other person. Right, yeah. which is why I'm surprised you don't invite me to your shit more often. Because you have a point one point five million subscribers, and okay. I just restarted. Social I was media. telling off camera. I don't. I literally. We have history, so that kind of shit. I don't give. I don't care about. If you were someone I didn't know, I'd be a little bit. Eh, you know. Here's the thing, right? So, the way that Xander and I did YouTube, I think we're both very cognizant of users and social climbers mm-hmm. and things yeah, like yeah. that. So, we didn't do any collaborations, really, because we didn't ever want to be accused of, of using somebody to grow. Mm. We wanted to get to that level and then do the collab. I see. I would never want to make you feel like I was contacting you just to get numbers. And that's another reason why I didn't contact you because I wasn't, I had been off the scale for so long. And even with Megan and I, we talk and she's like, every time we talk, we're like longtime friends, yeah. you know? And she's always been open to, to yeah. do content yeah, together. Yeah. And I never asked because. I don't ever want even with the risk of somebody. Mm-hmm. But then you were like, oh, I'll do it. So I was like, yeah, yeah, fucking go. Okay, well, for the record, I don't mind whatever you're... Girl, I... Official second MC. Yeah. I don't mind. Please. Okay, we have to do some straight, straight... Yeah, there was that risk of me being like, so you want to collab with me, so that means he'll let me suck his dick. <laughs> One day. No, but I've always said this, how... I always think it's funny how... Not act different, but just like... The the happy that I feel like I know you don't see it on screen comes out when we're doing yes. it together and you know when you do your clubs with other people I get like a sense of it but I feel mm. like oh no shade to anybody that has ever collaborated with mm. that I'm not like that it's different when it comes from like long term content creators oh no I guess yeah, 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 yeah I understand yeah. Like, the podcasts that I look up to the most are all like that too you can have a sense that they've known each other for a while yeah and you know you even you know even though we you know. 
don't hang out that much. It just comes out. In this segment, we're gonna play Would You Rather. <gasps> There's a little twist on the Would You Rather. We are going to write what we think uh -huh. each other's answers are. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Each time our answers are incorrect, we get a point. There's only four questions at the end of the game. The one with the most points drinks the difference in points and shots. For example, if you got four incorrect and I only got two incorrect, you will drink two shots straight up. God damn. So this is basically how much we know each other and or our impressions of each other. And <laughs> and obviously because we don't know each other, we're potentially better content. If if every question is wrong, we both drink four shots. What the fuck? I just uh, that's just a rule I made up <laughs> just now. What the <laughs> not bad. You make it up rules on the right fly. Up. Number one. Would you rather be with an absolute 10 physically uh -huh. but zero personality uh -huh. or the opposite would you rather take this person's like this person is fucking amazing he makes you laugh he makes uh -huh. you whatever he can spend time with it but he is a fucking whatever your zero is it's that mm -hmm. right so if for example if you hate skinny people they're a skeleton if you hate fat people 500 pounds and whatever uh -huh. That's zero. You cannot date anybody else. The moment you date this person, that's it for the rest of your life. It's this person. Okay. What do you well, think, I think I would choose or what do I think you would choose? We don't try to game the system. It's oh. what you actually think of each other. <laughs> Boy, uh. I thought for sure. Oh. If you watch my podcast, you'll know my answer. Oh, shit. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hey, we're both shallow. Fantastic. Are you honest there? Bought 10 body, 10 per zero personality. No, that'd be the opposite. I've said so many times, right. I, I hate people with zero personality. And I know you're shallow, so. I am shallow. I like you, so it's okay. I, I accept you. You are. <laughs> okay, one point for me. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather stink horrendously mm -hmm. to everybody else? Mm -hmm. Or the opposite, everybody else stinks like literal shit to you? What I think you would choose. What do you think I would choose and what I think you would choose? Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's easier just to do A and B. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. N next question will be A and B. Okay. Three, two, one. Others stink. <sighs> you are correct. Because in my head, I had some kind of weird mathematical, like, yeah. at the where it's like, I don't know, something about. I'm selfish. I wouldn't want everybody else to stink to me. If I stank to everybody else, something can change that. That's Money, what I was thinking. Or that looks, is exactly what I was thinking. Right? Or they can plug their nose mm -hmm. right? or something, right? Yeah. But if everybody else stank to me, that's a mm. bad world. I could just seclude myself. I could just give up on <laughs> love and just live at home and everything would be great. But, Am I right about you, though? You would rather other yeah. people stink? Yeah. There we go. Because you're considerate. You don't want to <laughs> be the person, you know, that is stinky around everybody and making everybody else's lives worse. Yeah, but also in the same vein, I. I'm all, at home all the time anyway. Uh, Neither one of us gets a point because we were both right about each other. But the fact that my logic with choosing all these answers is that whatever I first think, this is the opposite. Uh, <laughs> what? Number three. Okay. A, be broke, broke forever. Okay. Like, bro, you can't pay rent. Broke, Holy broke. You're shit. homeless. But everyone adores you. Like okay. they love you, uh -huh. but you cannot use that adoration or love to to make your life better. Or B, opposite, be like fucking billionaire, but everyone hates you, mm -hmm. and you know it. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, you can suspect it. You don't have to know, mm -hmm. but everyone hates you. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Broken love. B. You B for me. You are correct. Are, am I correct? That would be B. Yeah, <laughs> I'm wrong. Yeah. yeah. I guess you don't know me. I shouldn't know you. Having no money, I just feel so uncomfortable. That like, that. <laughs> and for me, having money means I can spoil the people around me. I like spoiling people. Yeah, but yeah. everyone hates you. Even, everyone even thinks family? you're a disgusting cunt. Yeah, everyone. Even family? Even family. Well, at least I'll have the, the, the thing of like, I bought you this gift, so even if you hate yeah! it. Yeah! Yeah, please high five me for this. Same. If you're rich, people will pretend they love you. Even if they hate you. And they that's did. all that matters. And then you can you can have your own life too, right? Your sushi chef can hate you. They can't spit in their food because they're yeah. sue the shit out of them mm -hmm. and burn them to the ground. You mm -hmm. know what I'm Fourth and last question. So I, you are so bad I, at this I game. I am guaranteed Happy? to drink at least one shot. Okay, hopefully. This is an interesting one. It's not controversial. Okay. Okay. Would you rather be able to jump back in time or jump forward in time? A, from present to back and re, uh, rubber band back to the present only. Mm -hmm. Or present to future and can only, so you can't go back. Yeah. Hmm. 
Three, two, one. Past. A. Me? I pick future. Just so I can prepare. So we answered for ourselves. Yeah. You'd rather go to the past? I'd rather go to the past. Oh, great. I yeah. thought you'd rather go to the future. Future proof. Do you know why you're a fucking dumbass? Why? If you can only jump into the future, right? Okay. You cannot prepare yourself for now from the past. But in the past, if something bad happens, I can immediately jump back, change it. But see, in the future, that's the point. See the future, try to fix it now. But if you mess up the timing now, mm -hmm. you can't go back again to try to... You will never know what the exact correct choice is. But is it, could you say the same thing about if the nuclear holocaust happened now and you try to go in the past? No, the yeah, because I can always... Keep rebounding infinitely. To see the now past. you're trying to change it. You and you never mentioned this. The whole like you can keep going. No, back. you can keep. You can keep going to the see, future and back and forth. That. You didn't mention that. Gonna, see, I knew he's gonna try to. But for break me, this in general, I probably would still pick the future. The future. So the reason why I wouldn't want the future too is because mm -hmm. I wouldn't want the depression of going. This is what's in mm -hmm. it for me. No, I get that. When you think, when you say going back to the past, how far were you thinking? I would go back all the way. All the way? Going back as in just viewing the past or going back? No, as literally as traveling. Uh, oh no! But then, because I, th I was thinking, I did not think about this question right? far enough. Because if you're in the future, you would die because you're a thousand years old. But okay, oh that far? I'll change it so that if y the person who goes in the future retains themselves, then they can just view the future. Mm, so right. You're not killing yourself. Yeah, but I would. The past, you're actually transplanting your current mind into the past. Uh, I see. I, see. <sighs> I did not think of this question hard enough. But yeah, so there we go. Two shots for me. Cheers. Two shots and go. Good job. Good heads up. Ah, yeah, Quintana, it's fine. Oh, my God. No, because the difference was two. So you can drink one, I'll drink two. The game master has to follow the rules because without rules, we're just animals. That's true. So we are going to wrap up this podcast with the staple content that I have on TikTok. Reddit reactions and commentary. Am I the asshole? Okay. For yes. using weaponized incompetence back on my son to make a point. Weaponized incompetence? Yeah. Example. If a person, your partner, does something badly mm -hmm. on purpose. On purpose. On purpose so that you would just take over and do it. Mm -hmm. I am so tired. Okay. My son, 15, has been messing up all of his chores on purpose. I started to teach him how to cook more complex stuff and other stuff like proper mm -hmm. deep cleaning, how to clean the bathroom well, laundry, mm -hmm. growing up chores, mm -hmm. right? He messes up. At first, I thought he was just having a hard time. Mm -hmm. So I spent more time on it with him. It was driving me insane because I tried so many ways to teach him and I was getting quite frustrated. I even went to book an appointment to see if he had ADHD because if he can't do chores, he must have something wrong with his brain, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I canceled it after I heard him talking with his friend bragging how he got out of chores by messing up. I sat him down and talked to him and denied that saying he doesn't get it. He went as far as to say it wasn't a big deal. He can't do it. So after... I had been messing up his stuff on purpose to show how much of an inconvenience it was. For example, I forgot to turn on the dryer so his clothes were wet. We got into an argument today thinking I'm a huge jerk and then he knows I'm doing it on purpose. I told him that it's the point I won't stop until he does his stuff correctly. He won't talk to me and the husband on his side. Husband on his side? In this person's situation, I don't think they're the asshole. Interesting. Everybody else voted not the asshole here. Mm. But I say is the asshole. Okay. Because I have a very different view of the responsibilities of a parent. Okay. You as a parent, you have a responsibility to be able to teach properly. No, that's that's really true, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you don't get to be petty. Yeah. <laughs> you have to ha set an example of unpettiness to be like, hey, sit down and be like, and be upfront, and be like, hey, huh, I fucking caught you. Yeah. I heard you talking to your friend, and you're doing this on purpose. You don't get to be petty and. Fuck up his clothes. As a parent, you're supposed to take care of your yep. kid. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are probably not going to agree with this. I believe that a parent has the responsibility to ca take care of their offspring for the rest of their lives. Who's into who be, adulthood. Who would be opposed to that? So many people. So many. Yeah. So people Once you're an adult, I don't have to take care of you. Be oh, a lot of people yeah. like that. Maybe it's not the Asian Probably, white people, yeah, black people, yeah, yeah, yeah. not Asians, right? But Asians 18, like... like you're yeah, not mine no. anymore. Yeah, so no. I didn't have a choice to be born. Mm -hmm. You fucked somebody, whether on purpose or by accident, you brought me into this life. I didn't have a choice mm -hmm. to come here. It's your responsibility to take care. If I'm a deadbeat drug addict, you have to take care of me. You brought me into this world and you failed at parenting enough to get me to that point. 
And I think it's always the parents' fault. Because if the dynamic was good enough, mm-hmm. if the support system was there, mm-hmm. how could a person ever fall into That's that true. trap? That's true. Have a sit down. Have a talk. I caught you. I know you're doing this on purpose. Mm-hmm. Then you can say, I'm not going to do your laundry anymore. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can fuck up your laundry on purpose just to fucking okay. get back yeah, at the kid, yeah, okay, right? Yeah, it's I weird. See, yeah, I see that. What do you guys think? Please leave it in the comments. Yeah. Love it. And especially if you're watching on TikTok. I love it. And I will roast you if you're an idiot. Second and last Reddit reaction until the finale. Very applicable to us. Okay. Am I the asshole (laughs) for nuking my niece's social media accounts? Nuking? Yeah, I'm assuming that means like literally just fucking straight up deleting it. No permission. <laughs> yeah. Or fucking. I have to know the reason. First impressions on the tagline and then the story. I'm gonna it's assume a this, niece. It's not even I'm going to assume this niece is probably like 13. Probably. Then I, not the asshole. Not the asshole? <laughs> but I have to hear the story. No. Ha. There is no situation where it is okay to As do that. As an ajashi. Bodily autonomy. As an ajashi. I'm not opposed to. Nuking these that these type of discipline is crazy. But I again, I have to know the situation. I no situation is it okay to violate personal privacy and autonomy like that for me. You don't think it, it depends on the situation? Never. Okay. Ne- like, okay. There on. might be one mm. if she's like throwing her pussy out because she she'll regret that in the future. All right. So I'm thinking, but you can't do that on social media. Like you can't actually do full pussy or full nudity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if she's just thought thirst trapping, then whatever, right? Holy shit! So a couple of weeks ago, I male 35. Why is it always a male? Yeah. <laughs> Cause are the Why is it always these cisgender males that are They're just the trying to control women? You know, They're the ones on Reddit. <laughs> Had my sister, F39, mm-hmm. okay, and her family, including niece, F11. So a child. <laughs> over <laughs> for a barbecue. We had okay. a pretty good time, with the exception of niece, who was pretty much constantly on her phone mm-hmm. recording TikToks. Sounds like a person that hey, you see. You got to do what you got to do to get famous and make money. <laughs> I guess. When you're starting social media, everybody shits on you. They don't believe in you. No, of like, course. That's cringe, yeah. Yeah. Until you make it. So she has to get through this stage of everybody disapproving of her before she can make it. So, so this, fuck this poster. But also, it depends on what you're doing. Doesn't matter. Bella posted her and got the fucking 90 million. But she's an adult, isn't she, when she did that? Yeah. Well, she's out of the military. Whatever. You know, Charlie D'Amelio was an underage, and she's like one of the top fucking creators, right? Making mm-hmm. fucking millions for her family. Get your children to work for you. Anyways. <laughs> Slightly annoying, but ultimately, not my kid, not my problem. Yeah. So I've talked to my sister a while ago about being careful what niece is putting online. Oh, yeah. so she's, yeah. okay, this person is trying to protect mm-hmm. this man, yeah. cis male, is trying to protect the identity. Uh-huh. My sister brushed it off saying that niece was sensible and I'm not to do anything stupid. Mm-hmm. I figured, I tried to bridge the gap, so I asked mm-hmm. niece what she was recording. It's a TikTok, you're old. You wouldn't get it. Oh, so she's a cunt. <laughs> I work in tech. So it's not like I don't know what I'm talking about, but I just had to let it slide. Turns out, okay. Oh, oh here we go. Turns out, niece has used her, oh. niece has used her full government name mm-hmm. to register on for TikTok with links to her public Instagram with the same name. So I did what any reasonable person would do. I reported everything for being under 13. Oh, okay. So she he did it to protect her identity. Because there are perverts and there are pedophiles yeah. and shit online. Yeah. That want to be like jerk it to like 11 year olds yeah. and shit. And potentially but I mean, kidnap her and shit. Yeah. You know? I mean, technically she's supposed to be at least 13 to do any of this. So. Mm. Okay. I'm starting to get converted then. It is quite, you know. A yeah. Hard. Oh, oh my god. I guess Instagram, so. YouTube, TikTok, everything. Oof. With the nature of TikTok trends, some of the stuff on there was stuff that every 11 year old shouldn't be doing. Fast forward to today. Sister okay. calls me and asks me if I can have a look at Nisa's iPad. Apparently, she can't log into any of her accounts. She's having a meltdown. That means Nisa was getting some traction. Because if ah. she wasn't getting anything, then she wouldn't, you know. Like, huh. Mm. But also, I'd be worried about what kind of traction she was getting. We can talk about that right after this. Yeah, yeah. He admitted that he reported everything and got the niece permaban. Oof. Not the permaban. So, am I the asshole for nuking after the story? Asshole or not? I don't think so. I think so, still. You think so? He should have brought it to the mother's attention and mm-hmm. allowed the fucking guardian to decide. You and know what? Not your yeah, place. in that sense, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Still the asshole then. Because it does seem quite a. I do. But my first thought was it was quite a big, like. Because he didn't talk to... Yeah. Him. He was just like, are you sure you shouldn't be... Bad, bad, pro man. Wait, technically, couldn't she just make a new account later? If she was smart, you would just make another email. Hey. <laughs> oh, but maybe the algorithm will be able to match her face. 
Maybe. Sooner or later. Because TikTok is smart, yo. Girl. The Chinese they got technology. Your shit. Majority of the people said not assholes. I don't understand that. What is no, the need I... for people to control other people's lives like that? It's crazy. Well, would you be okay with... You, you talk to the parent. They talk with their kid. But they're like, oh, it's whatever. Not my shit. It's not me. Yeah, it really isn't your... No, no it's not my yeah. fucking business. Yeah. I, she's not my child that I have sovereignty but over. But if something happens to the kid... Would you feel a little bit like nope. I should have done something? No, because it's a parent's fault. It's your responsibility as a parent to protect your child. If, if you, you just talk to, to the parent, I guess it's onto them. It's, yeah, which is why I hate woke culture. Mm-hmm. I don't believe in one person's right mm-hmm. to control another person's Natalia. life, whether or not they're doing something you believe is evil. Now, there are obviously degrees to that. If you mm-hmm. know somebody's about to buy a gun and shoot yeah. up a school, then yeah. yes, you should fucking deal with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you would have to be pretty fucking autistic, and I'm not using that as an insult, but autistic to not be able to tell the differences and the mm-hmm. degrees and what it is. But everything's subjective, so yeah. I'm not blaming you if you think this is... To protect a child, you should do everything you can to protect your child. But even just, like, the fact that the parent let their 11-year-old kid be on that shit, that itself is already, like... I would be the champion of any offering I have to build a social media... But is you know? it the case that maybe if it's, like, a YouTube family channel... Is that a little bit different? Uh, yeah, but and I would also be a personal. And I would be monitoring all of their feeds and banning everybody that's a creeper. Oh, and, okay. Because you know, I'm in the industry, but you can't expect mom mm-hmm. who's not a creator to be, yeah. you know. But mom's the asshole, really, mm-hmm. if you think about it yeah. in this story. No, I can see how she's an asshole. Mom's the yeah. asshole. But I guess it also depends on how much this person loves the child, too, in a personal sense. Like, they would sacrifice anything to protect this kid. Mm-hmm. Even their personal relationship. In that case, fine. You're not the asshole. Good ass. So it's all nuanced. Yeah. Yeah. But without that knowledge, you're the asshole. You don't get that to say. <laughs> I'm sticking to it. You can you can say I'm a yeah. piece of shit. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> but if you manage to last all the way to the end, thank you very much. You get um, the full full episode will be on Trove, the exclusive. Oh. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to pay a little bit for it. It's only $5 a month to support me. We're going to end with one more question. Mm-hmm. A question by Winnie Fader. Yeah. What is the best memory of a time y'all did something fun in Korea together? I have my answer. What is it? It was our collaboration where you transformed me into a girl. Ha, that was pretty That's funny. the fucking best. Ha. We had so much fun. The content was amazing. We laughed throughout the entire video. And that's something you cannot say about some of the people you'd be collaborating with. No. Uh, no, I uh, know. I love everybody that I collaborate with. Uh, <laughs> not the, no, I, mean, I absolutely. They say yeah, when absolutely. you lie, you touch but your ear. Fun. And if you want to watch that, <laughs> fantastic. That was like seven years ago eight years ago it's up here please check out that video just to see what our bond was like and was now like, is i feel like, like it's always been the same it was the same in your mind but i was a little pussy bitch and i didn't oh want to overstep my god bounds, see yeah. that's the crazy thing to me is that you still have this weird like uh, trauma from what from everything i don't do you know why i don't have birthday parties number one because people I don't believe know. i have to pay for everything but like Good Even ass. if it wasn't that, I don't want to invite people to a birthday party, show up to a birthday party, and two people show up. I get that. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. No. I know that people would show up because I have very, very good friends in Korea who like they were good, but the nightmare situation of doing a get together and nobody showing up, I would kill myself. But also, I feel like you never invite me to do anything. Why did you think I didn't invite to what to hang out and stuff? Um, cause. I almost get the feeling it's probably because you think I'm just going to try to hit on you again. No. Yeah. I'm not homophobic like that. No, I don't think it's homophobia. I just feel like you don't feel like dealing with it. No. Because why would you want to hang out with someone the whole time? They're just like, I literally want to put your fucking cock in my fucking mouth. No. (laughs) No. I love to be loved. I love to be loved. And yet, I, I, I addressed this in the podcast already. If I didn't put it in the podcast for you guys to see in the free version, it's in the paid version. (laughs) Right. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, maybe next time, um, not podcast, but we could do some. Yeah, so because I really want to know, like, like makeup things. So like the glass skin makeup in the Koreans. I can that do we look that girls have and shit. I really want to learn that shit. Also, maybe another cross dressing. We were Speaking supposed to do which? it for Halloween. Speaking of which, yeah, your nose is so nice. It's fake as fuck, but it looks so good. The surgeon that did it for me mm-hmm. did it, and they're like, it's all natural and all. It looks stuff. really good. Yeah. Thank you very much. I've had a lot of people say that to me. You know, about Can you fans? not leave me hang? No. 
No my dick is not big enough for porn. No, my cl- my OnlyFans collab. You ever thought about it? OnlyFans collab? Yeah, my Your OnlyFans. Your OnlyFans? Yeah. You know that? Are you making bank? Yeah. <gasps> That's why you're too lazy to do anything because you're making I'm bank. Just kidding, I'm just oh, fuck. No, you're fucking yo. You baited nah, the they, fuck they, out they of me. Have, they have contacted me before. I'm like, I'm too lazy. But if they manage everything for you. Nope. Funny. They man- you have to get managed, but who's the one that has to film shit? Me. I don't feel like doing that. But then you get to fuck Hawkeyes. Because they're going to bring nope. the collabs. Huh? Nice early. Oh, shit. Unless it's happy. Subscribe! Oi.